we have a great drink for you today. It's gonna bring out all the holiday cheer. Mold wine is actually a traditional drink from Germany called Glühwein. <laughs> Glühwein. <laughs> <laughs> to get this started, you're gonna need a whole bottle of wine. Today, we're using the Mayomi Pinot Noir. Now, Pinot Noirs are great for this because they're full flavored, bold. They tend to have a little bit of very expressive fruit. So this is gonna blend really well with some of the spices we're using. We're gonna sweeten this up a little bit by just adding half a cup of sugar. To now add some smoothness to this and bring out some of those bold flavors of the wine, we're gonna add a 70% or higher dark chocolate. So we're just breaking this up because it's gonna make it a little easier to melt. One of my favorite spices of all time, cinnamon. For this one, I'm gonna add in five cinnamon sticks. Now clove is great because it is pretty much winter in a bottle. It's gonna make your house just smell warm and cozy and really make you wanna wrap up in a blanket. Now star anise can really overpower your drink. So with this, you just wanna use two or three. This is gonna add a nice little black licorice flavor and it's really gonna bring out all those layers. We're gonna go ahead and move this to the burner and let it heat up for about 30 minutes. So we're just gonna make this cute little Christmas tree garnish with the rosemary. Have this go right inside the cinnamon stick. It's gonna set nicely right on the side of our mug. And now we're gonna zest an orange. We're actually gonna use this orange also for the juice that then goes into the wine. This is gonna bring up the acidity a little bit more and just make sure this isn't too sweet for your guests. Now when you're doing this, you wanna make sure you're using a real orange. You don't wanna use an orange juice or anything from Concentrate. Those are just gonna be a little too sour in there. This is gonna bring out the nice natural sugar taste. We'll just give this a nice little stir to blend those in. Now it's time to move on to the good part, the spirit. So for this one, we're gonna add in an amaretto, which is an almond liqueur. That's just gonna get it in a nice, smooth, nutty flavor that really add into that wine. We're gonna use four ounces of that. We're also adding in gin. But this is gonna add that nice juniper flavor. It's really gonna bring out that Christmas feel. And so for this, we're just gonna use about one and a half ounces. You can bump it up to two if you're a big dry fan, but for me, I'm just gonna leave it at one and a half. So now we're gonna strain our mold wine. I'm gonna use a ladle for this. You can dump it in, but be very careful because it is gonna be very hot. So the reason we're doing this is we just wanna get all those spices out of this. We wanna get those cloves out. We don't need to be choking. And if you wanna add the cinnamon sticks back in afterwards just for a presentation, you can do that too. So now that we have this strained off, we're gonna add a little sea salt to this just for a little extra flavor. It's time to try it. I can't wait for this. I'm super excited. This is one of my favorite things about the holidays. I'm gonna take my little garnish and just use it as a nice little swizzle steak. I'm gonna use the, uh, the rosemary side just to add a little extra flavor, a little spin. Mm. So delicious. Happy holidays, everybody.